you know, I just think, you know, sometimes with war, war, you know, war has many boundaries and such. And war can be very, um, can be very troubling because there's some things you're, there's some things you're going to commit, like, in war, pretty much, uh, shooting atomic bombs at Japan, pretty much when the U.S. did it, uh, and stuff like that. Pretty much you're going to make mistakes like that in war because war is pretty much that point of view. It's like you want to defend your country from outside invaders and stuff and try to just keep yourself, pretty much keep your mindset above all levels and try to stay calm. Try to pretty much try to stay focused. So, you know, and with the in World War II, many of the U.S. had like entertainers and dancers and stuff like that. However, on the flip side, in Japan, there were sex slaves. Pretty much, yes, they had entertainers and dancers and stuff like that, but they also had sex slaves. Now, I believe in many stories and stuff, pardon me for adjusting, but in many stories and stuff of, in movies I have seen, I've seen some of this, but I just didn't think it was a, a big issue. But when I read this article today, that it really changed my point of view about Japan in some ways. Uh, and the article states, says this, Japanese uh, politician calls wartime sex slaves necessary. And some of the art, I'm going to read some of the par paragraphs out of here. I'm not going to read all of them because it's going to take too long. It's a long article, but I'm going to just dissect some of them. So here we go. Um... Japanese officials has distanced themselves from comments made by a prominent nationalist politician that suggested women forced to become prostitutes to entertain Japanese troops during World War II were, quote-unquote, necessary. To uh, Toru Hashimoto, I believe I'm pronouncing it right, but if I'm butchering, sorry, um, who serves as the mayor of Osaka, told reporters at its weekly press conference uh, Monday, that anyone who, uh, would understand the role of comfort women when soldiers were in, uh, risking their lives and you want to give them a rest. Though he acknowledged that the issue was a tragic result of war, Hashimoto, who is the co-leader of the nationalist Japan Restoration Party, insisted uh, the use of prostitutes by soldiers was not unique to Japan. Bizarrely, uh, Hashimoto also revealed uh, that he told a U.S. military commander during a trip to a base in, on the island of Okinawa that, uh, that the adult entertainment business in, uh, in Japan should be utilized more by U.S. personnel. I tell him there are places that operate within the boundaries of the law uh, which can be um, used for release and sexual frustration, so they, the U.S. military, uh, should uh, fully utilize it uh, or the Marines wouldn't be able to control their aggressive uh, sexual desires. See, he said the officer refused to discuss the suggestion. You know what? The officer that has uh, discuss, uh, that refused, thank you. That was just, uh, I think pretty much uh, just getting offered that was a pretty dumb idea. Because, you know, that's, uh, because here's the thing. I know Japan has a big, I would say somewhat of a big uh, adult entertainment business in Japan. Yes, they do. But I don't know what goes on in it. So I'm not sure if they're committing rape or whatsoever. But if this Japanese uh, politician is saying that wartime sex slaves were all right, they're just, that's, uh, that, um, that they, they were necessary to, to relieve uh, soldiers and stuff, and then they're and then he turns around and says that the adult inter entertainment business should be utilized more by U.S. personnel. All I'm getting out of this person is not he's 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 just making an image of himself that he's a sexist pig. He's pretty much um labeling women as nothing but sex symbols pretty much sex slaves and all that that they need to bow down to the wit uh they need to bow down to men and pretty much suck them off or fuck or get fucked by them pretty much that's that's why i'm getting out of the concept of this whole thing and him going out here and personally saying that 
200,000 um, people, 200,000 people, which I'm going to read here just in a sec, uh, many, uh, it states under the sex slave part of it, uh, many of the 200,000 women who, uh, whom historians estimate were forced to become sex slaves, slaves for Japan's former imperial army were from the Philippines, China, and the uh, Korea Peninsula, all, all occupied territories at the time. Remember the, remember this. Um, in, uh, from what I have learned uh, with American history and stuff like that, the only territories that were never taken over or uh, was never taken over or were against um, um, Nazi Germany and Japan were pretty much some of the Pacific Islands, um, North America, parts of South America, because Nazi Germany had Brit, uh, not Britain, <laughs> that was dumb, um, part of Brazil, they, I think they got somewhat into South America. Um, they got a grand majority of, um, pretty much, Britain was the only one out of Europe that was not taken over. They pretty much fought back as much as they could. Um, Parts of South Africa was never taken over or was never explained in textbooks. Um, Australia was considered neutral. Russia was against the Nazi Germany. And I think that's about it. Um, I'm not sure if anything else was, uh, was, is worth noting or whatsoever. But, um, uh, while many has now died of the 200,000 women uh, that historians estimate, uh, a group of Korean survivors uh, spent pr uh, years protesting outside the Japanese embassy in Seoul. They demand greater recognition of their suffering as well as well as individual compensation. Now, in, in wartime and stuff, they uh, like like I think it was with the Philippines uh, when they went under martial law back in the seventies and stuff. Um, well, ha this is when the communist spread was uh, communist part of. Uh, a different war, pretty much Cold War, was going on. Um, that was pretty much had a lot of communism going around. Um, they went through martial law. They have, um, as of I think within the last couple of months or so, they are now starting to receive compensation of that war, of uh, of the pain and suffering they had to go through. They're they're receiving that. Um, or Agent Orange, you probably hear hear that with the Vietnam War. That was uh, um. They were they were getting some um tri uh, like some oh, what was it it was either being proposed or it was already passed through that they're getting compensation for medical treatment because of it because it's a very crippling um gas it's a very crippling and really messes with your ner nervous nervous system your nerves your internal organs and stuff like that it really it, it's pretty much perilous. Uh, paralysis and all that uh, that's what happens to them but that's pretty much what what these uh, people who who were affected by war two are demanding pretty much compensation for uh, what they had to go through with uh, pretty much putting them putting their bodies up uh, to entertain men during war two so you know, I mean, Japan has released uh, in '93. The Japanese government has released uh, a statement acknowledging the pain and suffering endured by thousands of women forced to have sex during World War II. Even in vow to include uh, the comfort women issue in the new junior high school textbooks uh, for the first time. And I believe junior high school is either six through eight or seven through nine in Japan. I believe it's seven. Uh, I think it's six through eight in Japan. Now, now, other than their territorial disputes, they have some uh, some very sticky problems going on with that. So, yeah. But all in a nutshell, I mean, I find it just very stupid that a politician that goes out in the parliament says this, this kind of thing and turns around and goes, runs over to a U.S. commander and mentions it to, to the person. Um, I got a Skype call coming. Great. But um, has done that. It's, it's just very disturbing that I find that. So, I mean, this person could possibly lose his political seat over this kind of stuff. You know what? 
And if anyone has that kind of mindset, they're pretty much, uh, pretty much a sexist for that. I, if people who treat women as sex slaves should honestly just keep their mouth shut and keep it that way. Because there, we don't need people to sit here and promote that women are sex slaves or se uh, symbols and stuff. So other than that, I think that's about it. Uh, this is Unconsciously Online here, signing out. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope I see you guys later.